Hey guys, Jake here. I play the character Lord Henry Bova in a lot of LARPs that I do, and today I wanted to kind of continue this little discussion about off the rack equipment. You know, stuff that you're going to get from retailers like Epic Armory, Dark Knight, uh, Medieval Collectibles, stuff like that. The kind of things that you look on online and say, uh, do I really know if that's going to work? Is it going to fit for me? And how's it going to feel? So I want to take this chance to talk about some stuff that I have. All right, so let's start off with one of the pieces I wore in my last video. I got a question about this. Uh, this is a padded coif. Uh, I got mine off of Amazon for about $11.50 and it was prime. I do not recommend Amazon for things like armor and padded gear. Uh, this kind of stuff needs to fit you perfectly and if you, you can tell, uh, it doesn't exactly fit me just right. Uh, it, I'm definitely getting a lot of movement here. It's really big, it's kind of one size fits all. And that's not usually the case when it comes to gear. Uh, it's one size does definitely not fit all. So do I suggest you get this? Maybe, uh, but from a different retailer. Try not to use Amazon for that kind of stuff. I like it for pants and shirts, but when it comes to hats, no. <laughs> At least not the padded point. No way. But it was prime. And was it worth taking a gamble on? Sure. Am I getting a brand new one in a couple weeks? Yes. Absolutely. So we'll talk about that later, but I'm going to keep this around because I have more armor to look at. Alright, so here I got the Visor Barbuta Helmet from Epic Armory. It runs for about $115, so it's a pretty good starter helmet for those who are trying to get into you know, metal headwear or just trying to protect themselves on budget. But as far as budget helmet goes, this is a pretty good place to start. It's wildly versatile, as you can see that I painted my front visor plate Blue. Blue, you're my boy! Um, as for, you know, visuals, <laughs> your heads up visuals at least, uh, it's not hard to see out of. Definitely something you might want to alter in the future. Same thing with your uh, breathability on the sides here. The thing is, the steel is about 16, 18 gauge, so it's pretty easy to alter if you wanted to. But let's go ahead and try it on and I can show you how it fits. Not bad. It is pretty good fit. There is a cage in the inside of it with some padding. I'm going to show you guys that when I take it off here. But just from off the rack, I've not done any altering to the inside cage. I'm planning on doing so though because there is a little bit of movement on there. But that's going to change depending on who wears this. And buying your own foam padding for the inside it's definitely something I recommend for anybody who wants to get a much more snug fit, and everybody should, because this thing should just pretty much be a second layer of skin for you. Um, let me go ahead and take this off so I can talk more. I look like Magneto. You know, this is this is wild. I feel like I'm gonna go fight the X Men. <laughs> yeah, with the visor off, you can still kind of use this. Maybe we put a little like cloth ring around there, put some feathers in. You can customize this for a lot of different ways. And if you're ever going on the field, I highly recommend everybody wearing a helmet. That is the most important piece of armor. Uh, even if your game doesn't even allow headshots in the game, your head is super important. <laughs> I don't need to tell you that multiple times, but your, your head is the one thing you want to protect more than anything else on the field. Let's take this off so I can show you the basket on the inside. Got helmet hair. Oh no. Alright, check it out. So there is a little basket on the inside. It is a pretty simple leather basket. There's not pretty much any padding in there at all. It is just leather. So getting yourself a you know a football helmet padding for the head, it's a pretty good idea. I definitely suggest it. If not, at least a pretty well-fitting padded point. But for 115. Not bad, not bad at all. I might wear this without the mask more than with the mask, but this is a pretty good helmet. All right, so now we have the Mercenary Baldrins. So these came from Epic Armory for about $75, and they're pretty low profile. They come with a brown strapping, so you can get these in darkened as well, so you like dark mode a little better. You can get those there. But as you can tell, there is some strapping on the inside. 
uh, buckle. So this is a pretty great little piece if you wanted to attach that to your gamson. And I highly suggest you do attach this to a gamson instead of another piece of armor. But your mileage may vary. If you have a custom piece of armor like I do, it might fit you a little bit better. But you can definitely attach this to a gambeson or an arming point on any sort of padded uh, coif or wrap. So let's try to put this on. This might take a second, so just stand by. <laughs> it's not easy to put on uh, by yourself. All right, can you help me out? <laughs> Is Becca. <laughs> Someone put this on. <laughs> As you can tell, uh, this is going on to a custom, uh, you know, gorget that I have here. It's also blue. Blue, you're my boy! There's a little bit of a theme going on. But I would not advise you to arm any sort of metal armor on top of metal armor. Keep that attachment to the gambeson because I'm already having tears happening on the straps attached to this. So this is something I'm going to have to repair uh, once things start to warm up I can get to my workshop. Uh, but as you can tell, a pretty simple point. My shoulders are covered, so is my lower arms. I can swing, I can move. Kind of loud when <laughs> that happens. Like, my cats are thrilled that I am making all this noise, um, but I got full range of motion already with these, and I have a game of some coming in, I'm going to be able to arm this too, so I imagine it's going to fit a lot better with that on top. Take this off, or on. I feel like I look like, like I feel like I feel invincible with this stuff on. But yeah, so far pretty good. $75, I definitely suggest that people look at this kind of stuff. Metal armor may look intimidating, it may look difficult to size for you, especially when it comes off the rack, but give it a shot. A lot of these companies have pretty good refund policies. So, you know, search, do some window shopping, see what fits you best, see what fits your character best, uh, and take a, take a jump, make a dive. Uh, this was $75. Um, let me just go ahead and rack up what I've got here. All right, simple upper armor video. I have shoulders for 75, padded coif for 15 bucks, and I have to remind you that you can get this anywhere, and I do suggest you get it other places. This was not a great buy, but it wasn't a bad camp for me. Mileage may vary. And the helmet, 115, so let's take a look at that total. Not bad. That's not bad at all, especially if you just want to be safe and be armed and maybe get some extra hit points depending on what game you're in. By all means, but I'm loving it. I'm feeling it. All right, so thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna try to start doing this maybe every other week. We'll see. I have no idea when this is going out, um, but thanks for watching. And if you have any suggestions about stuff that I should be looking at next time, shout out below. I read all the comments, so I'm definitely going to see what you have to say. Thanks.